Um, so my car is dead. I had to call my mechanic who referred me to someone who could tow my car. I don't want to think that everything happens in threes, but sometimes they do and I don't want to focus on that. I've been really stressed out about my job. This morning, oh, that was so sad. I was getting dressed for work and I hadn't worn, I have a Tory Burch sweater and I hadn't worn it in a while. I reached into the dredges of my dresser drawer and I noticed that there were holes in it, thank God, because I was about to just like throw it on. It looked like moth-eaten holes. There was a like a brown striped um, maggot-like, worm-like thing. It was already working on another hole in the sweater. I had to throw it out. I was so sad. I, I think a Tory Burch sweater, I feel that that is a fine sweater. Not fine as in mediocre, but fine as in like, you know, high-end. So I was really sad about that. And then my car died for the sweater thing. I'm upset because whatever that bug is, it can lead to an infestation. So I, I haven't even started on it. I haven't even checked in the dresser because I'm way too scared to look and creeped out. And, but I have to clean that out. So it, it wasn't just about the sweater. It was the fact that I have to like do this very thorough cleaning. And then my car died. Uh, but I'm just glad. The three has happened. Um, they're all very manageable i could freak out but you know what i am just i'm just glad that i'm healthy i'm glad that you know just i'm telling the universe like thank you i'm grateful i am grateful for everything please just don't fuck with my health don't fuck with my body because i'm just grateful that i'm healthy at least and i, I can deal with all of this other stuff so that's what's been happening hello i'm just checking in there's been a lot going on. I don't want to get into it too much because I was so stressed out. I got really sick so on Friday. I started getting a sore throat on Friday. Um, today I'm still feeling, it's Wednesday, I still feel sick. I was sick over the weekend and I had to call out on Monday because I had lost my voice. My body's just breaking down. My anxiety has been through the roof. I have gotten sick. I'm tired all the time. It's, it's been really bad and I'm just trying to get through it. Like every day, I'm just trying to get through it. And I also um, am somebody who does not, like I don't want to rely on medication. I have medication as needed. However, I really, want to be able to i know that it's just a phase i i realize that my anxiety tends to peak when i'm going through a, a significant change in my life it, it's just been it's just been really hard i mean even in this moment right now i feel very anxious um i kind of feel like i could have an anxiety attack now um, I never know how to explain it to people who have never experienced it. For me, it just feels like just this overwhelming sense of dread. I always have fears of, you know, what if something is physically wrong with me? My symptoms evolve all the time. I'm never able to pinpoint it every time I have anxiety. I feel claustrophobic in my own skin, in my own body. I feel like my brain is in overdrive that it's just gonna like short circuit and just like you know i'm gonna have like a stroke or something i, I have no control i feel like i feel short of breath um i start feeling numb and my whole body starts to feel numb sometimes i just feel like i don't want to leave the house and you get all of the suggestions from everyone you you research it everyone talks about meditating and all this stuff and you do all that and when it's still there you can't help but but to blame yourself to feel to feel bad about yourself like you're doing something wrong and it, it's it's this vicious cycle because the anxiety gets exacerbated it when you start feeling badly about yourself and when you're trying and when you're trying to remedy the anxiety and you still feel anxious you still feel badly about yourself so, it sucks.
I'm very hungry and I just felt like making mac and cheese so I feel very nostalgic because when I used to stay home alone as a kid I would make mac and cheese all the time anyway so this is my life now like this is why I barely film because it's just like I don't know what the hell to talk about this is my boring life I still feel sick. I've been sick all week. I just feel sick and weak and tired. And I'm still like hacking up mucus and stuff. So it's really frustrating that like I'm still not 100%. Um, I'm actually going to start getting ready because I want to film a video. I just got my lashes done. My sister did it for me. I like it very natural and uh, it does not look natural, but it's okay. It still looks really good. I'm just not used to it being like as voluminous as it is, but I like it. Look how scratched up it is from me, like <laughs> carrying it around in my makeup bag. It's a <clears throat> SPF moisturizer and I really like it. Yeah, I've done a, I've done a really good job of almost finishing it. I don't think that I apply my makeup correctly. Um, I actually don't put it all over my face. I think like how you're supposed to. I just like to make sure that I conceal my trouble spots. Just wherever I have redness and darkness. Now that my skin has calmed down and I'm not getting as much pimples as I used to, I can now just kind of like let it breathe and not have to have all this like makeup on it. And then I just do like a light. I learned this from a YouTube video where you just kind of like, and then I learned this. Uh, you get some of the powder and you do like a light bake. You tap the excess off in the palm of your hand. And then I get the excess and I just kind of do like the small the small areas. I conceal only this part of my face because I still have some hyperpigmentation on this side from when I broke out. I kind of just like let it bake like that and do my brows. I still haven't been feeling good with my anxiety. Um, it kind of comes and goes. It'll end soon. Just the thought of having to go grocery shopping just now kind of made me feel very anxious. I, I don't think I do, I don't think I do my brows correctly, I just kind of like try to follow my natural brow hairs and just hope that it looks okay. They're not supposed to look identical, right? Because they're sisters, not twins. And then I just dust off whatever the excess and I put some on my eyebrows that I was baking. I take off the excess here and my, under my eyes and over my other eyebrow. And then I put on my blush. I try to like mimic the, the blush I get or the, the flush that I get after I work out and I like that look. I just kind of like placed it where um, that flush usually shows through after my workout. I'm sorry, I'm talking so slowly today. I just feel so tired and still sick. I'm very monotone right now. When I'm editing my videos and I play it back, I hate how my voice sounds. But I think everybody feels that way. We all hate the way our voice sounds. This is called the Babeless Pro. It is an inch and a quarter and I really like it. But I've had it forever. You can see like this. I don't know what that means. I know that there's a lot going on in the world and my problems mean nothing in the grand scheme of things but they are my problems nonetheless and I have to deal with them I am the one who lives in this body and I have to deal with it I haven't been feeling my best I haven't been really doing much of anything which is why I have like nothing to film that's life you know like we're so used to being seeing like highlight reels you know especially with Instagram and thinking that everybody has like a really exciting life and it's just simply not true also, I feel really bad for not seeing my friends 
and it's honestly because like i'm just not feeling good i just don't want to them to have to like deal with it i tell you this i have been using this for so long for years like this is like my sixth bottle like six or seventh bottle okay my boyfriend fixed my blinds i just got home and i bought a new apple tv siri remote because i don't know if i talked about this in my other video but i accidentally threw <laughs> i accidentally threw this remote my old one where is it into the washer while i was doing laundry i looked it up on a couple of forums i tried to dry it out in rice i um i didn't use it for a day or so and it was so bad and then a couple of forums said that you just have to like keep it on the charger and then it'll work and it's like who wants to do that every time but that's what we're doing there's a apple tv remote app on the iphones but that was annoying too because if i wanted to be on my phone for something i'd have to like get out of the remote app and then i mean it's not it's not that big of a deal sometimes i will choose inconvenience over buying something new and sometimes i will i will pay for the convenience so i can't even find the damn thing where is it i don't know where it is oh. it's my own damn fault oh it's so nice to finally have one again and now i feel like i'm gonna confuse the new one with the old one. Oh, it's under the bed yay like it oh hi the old one just wait is this a new one okay see i knew i was gonna do this i knew i was gonna like get the two mixed up well shit okay this is definitely the one that's dead the matteness of the button and like the matte surface of um the touchpad doesn't wear down you know i hate when um matte any matte finishes does that from the um, the oils on your fingers, how it starts wearing down the finish. And I and they've designed this very well where it doesn't do that. This is the old one, but they both look very new. Okay, what do I feel like watching? I've been getting into Mindy Project lately again. I just like to have it on in the background. What do you do with the old ones that don't work? I have to Google it and figure it out.